today is a very exciting day. I'm going to be picking up two little female rats and bringing them home. I'm so excited. I paid and reserved these rats like two weeks ago and now they're finally ready to be picked up. So I want to show you the whole process of them coming home. I've never had rats before so this is my first experience. I've done a lot of research. I've watched many, many YouTube videos. So hopefully I'll be doing everything to make sure they have the best life and the best experience that they can. Do you unscrew the air holes to your state or the moisture rich? I've been working to get the cage all nice and set up. Before I get any rats, obviously, I'm gonna go pick up a cage and everything they need. <coughs> the pet store we went to didn't have a bunch of rat cages, so this one's the biggest one I found. It's 71 by 44 by 76. So as they're growing, I'm gonna need to upgrade them to a bigger cage because I wanna make sure there's enough floor space for them to roam around and also enough height. So this will be fine for, you know, two rats as babies but as they get older I want to upgrade them. In terms of what I'm putting in it I got a bunch of little goodies so I'll show you guys what I got. I want to try to litter train them. I got this corner litter box and I'll put a different kind of substrate. I got this fuzzy hut and I'll hang this. I have this little pumice chew block. This ideal for rabbits, guinea pigs, chinchillas, and rats. I got natural willow chews. I also got some of the things that you like screw onto the wire and they stick out. Wow, I really know my stuff. Perches. So I got a sand perch. This is just another perch. It sticks. So I'm gonna put those all in. I also got some foraging boxes and I want some more foraging toys and foraging balls and stuff like that. I know that's super important. I don't know how this is gonna work out, but I got a vest with leash, ideal for ferrets and rats. We might go on a walk or something like that. I don't know how this is gonna work out, but I thought I should just pick it up. I'm gonna open up the cage and try to put it all together and see how it looks. We have a sample of the food. This says mouse and rat diet, five grain. Paper bedding with odor control. It also comes with a water feeder and a food bowl. It comes with a hammock and a toy as well. So I've taken everything out and I'll start putting it all together. So it's a new day. We're gonna go back to the pet store because I need to return a couple of things I'll show you. And then I also wanna get a wooden ladder and like another rope and more toys. I'm gonna return this litter tray. I put it in and I realize it's too small so I'm gonna get the one that's a size up. And this little perch bed thing, I wanna get one size up as well. I want to get a hide as well. I'm going to start by putting the bedding down. It has a nice deep bottom so that will be good to put a thick layer down. The cage starter kit also came with these shelves and little ramps and I also have a bunch of other things for them as well. This is how I have the cage set up right now. I'll take you guys through it. It's so difficult because the front doesn't totally come off. There's only a few doors that open. On the ground, I have a litter box for them. I'll show you the litter. This is the paper litter that I'm gonna be using in there. I have this little ball and a hide down there. I also have this pumice stone placed under their water bottle. And on the other side of the cage, I have another water bottle here. Across, I have a nice long dog rope. And then this other little rope that I made, it's a macrame plant hanger, but I want to have something else hanging across. I have a couple little sleeping spots for them. And you know, a wooden bridge in there with some toys hung up at the top. I don't have a proper small animal carrier, so I'm just gonna use the cat carrier that I have. Ollie's in it right now. I'm gonna line it with something on the bottom, either a towel or a t-shirt or something. And hopefully the holes are small enough so they can't get through. Hey there. <laughs> We're heading out, but Ollie is staying inside the carrier. I need him to get out. Before Nyla gets in. Oh my god. Before Nyla gets in. Now they're both gonna be in. <laughs> Big cage. 
I'm gonna go find the lady or gentleman right now. We just got them. Here, let me open the door. They won't come out. He's like that. They're so cute. I don't want to stress them out and stuff like that. I'm just gonna leave them in the carrier until we get home. So that they can just chill. Oh my god, they're so cute. We are just saying I need to figure out names for them. They're both females, like I said. But I like names that aren't super male or female. Like I like the name Sprout and you know names that can go both ways. We just got home. I'm gonna put the rats into their new cage. Hey guys. Oh my gosh. Wow. It's such a cool color. I literally put my hand in and she came and sniffed it right away. Look at that. It's so cute. Like their paws. It's so soft. They're like okay. hands. I'm gonna put her in. This is the other little girl. She's a bit more timid, so I'm just gonna let her go right into the cage so she can, you know, chill out. It's super hard to film the little rats in here. Mm -hmm. But they're exploring right now, and I'm just gonna let them chill in the cage because obviously it's been quite an adjustment for them to have to come travel here. Thankfully, it wasn't a super long drive from the braider to my house, so it wasn't too bad. He's climbing. Whoa. Wow. All the way up to the top. He's oh like, my goodness. It. Wow. The other one is just staying at the bottom and hasn't explored. Good morning, guys. It is the next day, so I've had the rats for one night now. Last night, I totally let them just like chill and you know get used to the cage because I didn't want to be stressing them out. I noticed that they weren't really running around on the ropes or anything like that. Like they kind of stayed in the corner, which kind of points out to me that they're not super comfortable yet. And I obviously don't want to be reaching and grabbing them and forcing them to walk all over me. So I'm gonna keep them where they are, not bother them, and just let them further get used to the cage. I tried feeding them some strawberries this morning. One of them took to eating them off my hand, but the other one totally hasn't even touched them, which is fine. But I'm gonna end this video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me prepare the cage and get all the goodies and get them. I'm so excited to have them in my life. I'd love to do more rat content, like showing you guys and introducing you to the rats once they're obviously more comfortable in their cage and more comfortable with me. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Please subscribe so you guys can see updates on the rats and I'll see you guys in my next video.